Hello there fellow community, greetings from Portugal, I hope everyone is feeling well. Today, you already seen in the title, we are going to see how the touch bar uh, performs. Okay, I don't have yet of course the MacBook Pro 2016 and I will not buy it, uh, but I'm with an iPad that emulates the touch bar to control my MacBook Pro that is connected to this cinema display. Okay, it's simple to do. Uh, we are going, I'm going to do a screencast to show you how you do it, okay? This is for geeks and not geeks, it's an easy procedure, okay? It's an Xcode, uh, I already have the, 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 the code that you need, okay? You don't have to be a developer, a, re a re uh, registered developer to do this, okay? We are not doing anything illegal, we are just creating an app for you to have the touch bar to uh, you know uh, test it before uh, and see if it is useful or not on the new macbooks pro macbook pros okay so let's go to the screencast and afterwards i will show you um, with this camera how the touch bar works on the ipad okay let's go ahead then very well guys first step go to your apple store search for xcode Okay, and download it to your Mac. I already have done it. Okay, so download it to your Mac. It's a free program, so and don't worry about the name for the non geeks. I'm a non geek too, but it's very, very easy uh, to do. Okay, this is the first step. Uh, I, I, of course, you have to have uh, Apple ID. Okay, if you don't have it, please go ahead and create a apple id i believe you already have it for your itunes and everything you have uh, already an apple id so uh, that is a website that i will leave in the description okay you can test uh, only the touch bar okay in your mac okay uh, for example i have here on the screen the touch bar server uh, already running here if I click it on the function key here on my keyboard, you will see that is with some information. Of course, this is uh, enabled also uh, for the 15 inch uh, MacBook. This is a, a 27 inch screen. So uh, the developer uh, only allows this to be centered on the 15 inch. And But as you can see, it's uh, I, if I go with my mouse, okay, I can increase and decrease the 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 brightness the sound whatever okay so no worries about that and if you have a, a program running and now that you cannot do that because i'm recording and uh, uh, <clears throat> that's why it doesn't appear any information besides the quick time recording so i'm digressing uh, because it is useful if you have a, a external device an ipad for you to touch and see uh, what it, it feels the touch bar you know in in use so this is a, a demo for example as you can see i can go ahead and search or go ahead and put on youtube okay this is the same thing that you will see on the on the ipad you can go ahead and you can you know test and search and i don't know many many things so let's quit this let's take this out I'm sorry I'm digressing a little bit so I will leave this link in the description what you have to download is this okay this all these files okay and uh, th there will be one that is called touch bar Xcode project okay but when you call you have you download you download everything and it will go to your download folder okay Afterwards, if you have, you go to your download folder, I have it here in my dock, as you can see, that is here, touch bar, uh, it's a Xcode project touch bar, okay, first don't forget to download the Xcode from the App Store, you open it, and it will be already here, okay, so first, first thing that you have to do is um, <clears throat> I don't have yet my uh, my iPad connected, but you will have to connect it. Okay. Uh, first of all, 
all the information is right here okay already uh, you have the display name, touch bar, bundle. What is this for? This is for you to have the app on your iPad. Okay, this is what we need Xcode for, you know, in order for you to control your Mac through the touch bar on your iPad. Uh, you don't have to be a registered developer. Okay, but uh, you have to create an account, add an account. Okay, and then you put your Apple ID and password. Uh, and it will be here okay I don't have it for you know um, for you not to see my, my Apple my Apple ID and when you choose you will choose your name okay that will be over here and uh, you will have to change this name for example for com dot bar dot uh, I don't know uh, touch or dot com whatever you feel like it so com.bar.com uh, change the initial name for something else like this com.bar.com okay forget everything else put your uh, apple id and it will um, it will recognize after that you will connect your ipad through usb and lightning port in my case i have a, I, I have a iPad Air, okay, and okay, it recognized it immediately, okay, iPad, and uh, after this, you will go and click enable, no, don't enable, and build failed because of course I didn't have the my my Apple ID here, so afterwards you'll have it on your iPad and it will be an application on your iPad, okay? So this is the steps that you have to, to make. I hope I didn't forget anything. If you have any problems, please go ahead and leave it on the comments below. Now, I will try and show you what is like on my iPad. For you to see, uh, it will be the same icon that you seen here, okay? Don't forget, you have to be connected uh, uh, you have to connect your iPad with your Mac via USB lightning port whatever okay so afterwards you can quit and that's it let's go ahead and I will show the screen of my iPad very well guys so uh, this is my iPad Air okay and if you can go as you can see here you have the touch bar so it's the same uh, symbol up and if you go of course now it is recording okay but you have the touch bar over there let's go ahead and click here so you have lots of functions here you can ask siri siri what's the weather like tomorrow Here's the weather tomorrow. Okay, you are only seeing, of course, you are not seeing my computer, but you are seeing the touch bar. Okay, just for you to check. This is the, the functions. I will open here some apps on my Mac and uh, I just open Google. But if I want in search, I will click here on search and uh, I go to YouTube okay uh, i will turn my external camera for you to check also okay this is my how are you doing my external camera also in order for you to check and then for the editing it will be a little bit difficult so here it is let's go ahead search again let's go to the apple sites okay i don't know if we can check it if you can see it okay it's a little bit difficult to record with now let's try uh, something uh, different let's go ahead and well i can quit now this recording you are already seeing on the outside so let's stop I will... 
very well so guys this is the recording from the ipad let's go ahead and quit this uh, okay now i don't know if you can see this is the touch bar over here okay um, i was in near my my uh, keyboard external keyboard and let's go ahead and uh, perform here um, a test as you can see i don't know if you see with a reflection okay let's see over here uh, one thing that i didn't uh, comment regarding the x code after you have you have to approve um, you have to go to general and you have to approve the developer okay uh, you have to go to settings okay and approve the developer it will be right here uh, okay on management of uh, devices okay you have to approve go ahead and approve that developer okay it is you in, in that case it will be it will be you okay so here you have the touch bar uh, it is not connected now if it is of course this is the first version it is a little bit buggy if you have this kind of problems let's go ahead and let's quit this and this and let's see if there isn't if there is a problem you can you can go disconnect the lightning and reconnect see if okay already there and now i'm with the site over here and if you want to search you go ahead it goes to favorites let's click on youtube okay and it will go to my youtube page here it is okay uh, then you can go ahead and change your brightness like that okay I don't know if you can see it um, so there are lots and lots of tasks and uh, let's go ahead to one of those that they tested on the it was final cut and for me I was test testing this I don't know if this is the best angle and if you can see let's go ahead like this okay sorry guys amateur recording but i think it's very it's useful information so uh, i'm trying to put this as soon as possible for you to to test uh, my mouse is stopping working but let's go ahead to final cut and uh, yeah let's see if it changes every everything if it changes something let's see if we can okay mission control is working yeah it's working let's go ahead and ask siri something siri what's the weather like today here's the forecast for today very well it works even if it is a early release now regarding final cuts let's see uh let's import something i don't know there isn't something right now here let's quit final cut and open it again if you can see something changing uh, locate it can be this one the one that i'm recording open yeah it changed to you know final cut over here okay the comments for final cut you know this is very very you know it's it's uh, i have to be honest i don't know what, what, what <laughs> this is in fact for me this is a gimmick okay i'm testing with the ipad uh, over here but this is the scenario that you have to to manage you have to look down understand these commands and then look again to the to the screen uh, now I have to understand what I'm going to do. Okay, what is this? Uh, let's go to the time frame. No, where, do you, where I can see the time frame. Okay, time frame. Over here I have the time frame. Yeah, it's it's scrubbing over there as you can see. Okay, can I play it? I don't know. Yeah, I can play something okay very well and now if i want to quit this 
I don't know. Guys, this is not easy. At all. <laughs> okay, this is the commands if you want to trim. Mm. Guys, I'm seeing a real gimmick here on the touch bar. I'm looking down when I suppose to look up to my screen. It will be more productive. This doesn't seem productive at all. Okay, let's go ahead to music. Let's play here some music. Let's see in the comments here if I have something to play. What is going to play? iTunes. I have to have something open. Let's uh, open Spotify. Okay, let's go ahead here and click. Yeah, it works. Change. Yeah. Okay, for no copyright issues. Uh, it works okay so guys uh, this is it um, let let me let me move the camera over here to speak with you it's already late sorry about the light sorry about this messy messy recording <laughs> but okay once again let me move this viewfinder sorry about this light this yellow light then I well, it will be not yellow because I will make some some post production post. You know, I'll mess there with the color. Not on the touch bar. It's extremely difficult, guys. This is a gimmick, but uh, you know, it's a test, and uh, you can test it. Put on the same frame like this, okay, uh, near to your keyboard with the. Uh, with a screen in front of you if you have that option okay my macbook is over there it is connected as already told you with this uh, with this cinema display guys i hope you understand uh, all the steps if you have any questions go ahead leave it in the, on the comments below uh, it's not difficult at all i will leave the link for you to for the download in the description okay for you to download that uh, and uh, for now for my subscribers, they are already just subscribed. If you want, click on that bell to be notified for new videos like this one or uh, others. Uh, for the new guys that are seeing this kind of channel, I will leave also my Twitter link when you uh, want to know some release of new video that, that I that I posted. I post it in, on a regular basis regarding tech okay so if you are new go ahead click on that red button uh, to subscribe to the to the to the channel give a like button if you like this kind of content and comment below if you like this uh, new touch bar from uh, from apple guys i will not buy as you know uh, the new mac book pro 2016 if you didn't so go ahead and see why i will not buy it and uh, this is a long video for now this is all i hope all the best for you and uh, i'll see you on the next one okay all the best from portugal bye bye